Hey everybody, in this series we will be covering the important head and neck anatomy topics covered on the exam. Today we will begin with embryology and we will go through the important high yield embryology concepts that you'll need to know on exam day. Every time I mention a high yield topic, my boss gives me a gold star and I am like Spongebob at boating school for those things. So in this video series, you better believe that we are going to get after those high yield topics. So let's get right into it. So there are three primary germ layers of the embryo. There is the ectoderm, there is the mesoderm, and there is the endoderm. And the things that derive from the ectoderm are the epidermis layer, the skin and the hair, the adrenal medulla, the jaws and teeth, the sensory system, and the nervous system, including the neural tube. A helpful way to remember this list is to think of the ectoderm as the attractoderm. That's because this list is mostly made up of our external structures, like the epidermis layer, our jaws and teeth, and the sensory system. Okay, now let's move on to the mesoderm. The mesoderm derivatives include the circulatory system, the lymphatic system, the skeletal system, which includes our bone marrow, the muscular system, which includes things like cartilage, tendons, and other connective tissues in our body, the adrenal cortex, and the notochord. And now we are moving on to the endoderm derivatives, where we start off with the epithelial lining for the GI tract, the respiratory tract, the excretory system, and the reproductive tract. And then we have the thyroid, the parathyroid, and the thymus, and also the liver. Now I said a lot, and I know that you think you're listening, but you're going to have to prove it with example question one. Each of the following structures are derivatives of the mesoderm, except one. Which one is the exception? the mucous membrane, the aorta, the adrenal cortex, red blood cells, or tubule cell of the kidney. So for this question, I want you guys to recall that the mesoderm derivatives are the circulatory system, the lymphatic system, the skeletal system, the muscular system, the adrenal cortex, and the notochord. Whereas mucous membranes are epithelial linings that are both endoderm and ectoderm derivatives. And therefore, the correct answer is A. Now we're moving on to types of errors in morphogenesis. So agenesis is an absent primordial tissue which causes an absent organ. Aplasia is a primordial tissue present but an absent organ. And hypoplasia is a primordial tissue present and an incomplete organ development. Agenesis, aplasia, hypoplasia. Get it? Got it? Good. On to example question two. Which term best describes the congenital absence of one or more teeth? Now pause here if you want to solve it on your own, but the answer is agenesis. Now recall that this is defined as absent primordial tissue leading to an absent organ, which in this case is the congenital absence of one or more teeth. Now let's discuss a summary of everything that we talked about today. So the first thing that we did was an overview of the stages of embryonic development, and then we discussed important pathologies during embryonic development. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.